I get a lot of questions, comments, and emails asking for how people can dress their age or dress age appropriately or how they can take my tips and then accommodate them for someone older than me. So in today's video, I want to address or try to address the age old question of how to dress your age. Before we hop into it though, I do want to add a disclaimer that my approach on this is pretty unconventional and I 100% do not think there is anything that is age appropriate or age inappropriate. I'm a firm believer that you should always wear what you want and no one should tell you otherwise. So with all of that said, let's get started. So for me, dressing your age means understanding your station in life as it correlates to whatever age you may be. So whether you're a teen, whether you're in your 20s, your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and so on. All of that is going to accumulate in a bunch of unique life experiences, different things that have made you who you are at that particular point. And I think really understanding that, regardless of what decade you're in, shows a real sense of self. And I think that is the true cornerstone of, quote, dressing your age and feeling really comfortable in who you are. So my first tip is to always opt for comfort. I think that you should always look like you're comfortable in your skin you should always strive for self-acceptance and understanding yourself. And I think that with time, you know that a little bit better. So again, depending on what station you are in your life, you'll have a different level of understanding and ultimately comfort about who you are. So I say fully lean into that and let your wardrobe reflect that and let your clothing choices reflect that and make it known to the world that what you're wearing is a choice to allow you to enjoy the the hobbies you love, the people you love, the food you love, and the activities that you love. And I think that is fantastic. Similarly, I think dressing your age means wearing things that you've acquired over the years. So depending on where you are in your life, that's going to look different for everybody. So whether that's things that have been handed down to you, maybe things you've collected on trips that you've taken or travels, things that you've saved for and budgeted for and now you have in your wardrobe, that's all going to morph over the years and really allow you to create a personal style that really speaks to you something that's totally customized. And that is something that I really love. I am endlessly inspired by people that look like they wear things that are so deliberately chosen for their personal style. So I really encourage you to do the same. Go into your closet. I guarantee you, you have something like this already hanging there and find something that's so unique to you. Maybe because again, it's a hand-me-down or it's something that you found in a little shop somewhere on vacation and then be deliberate about adding that into your personal style. And I just think that's so good. Next, I think dressing your age means highlighting what you really love about yourself. And I think that's something that can come with age and the more you get to know yourself and the more you experiment with your style and find things that really make you feel your absolute most confident. And I think that is something you should always lean very heavily into and totally ignore any antiquated rules that tell you at a certain age you can't wear shorts, for example, or at a certain age you should start covering your arms or cut your hair. I think all of these are rules designed to kind of make us all look exactly the same. And I think that is the complete opposite of what personal style should be about. My next tip for dressing your age is to prioritize fit. So when I say prioritize fit, I mean you understand that most clothing, especially clothing that's mass produced, works off of a standard fit model and then scales up accordingly for each size. And that doesn't account for the nuances within all of the bodies out there and all of the different sizes and arm lengths and leg lengths and bust sizes and shoulder widths and everything that makes us unique. So by prioritizing fit, you understand that and you also know that you can customize things to work for you. So a tailor is going to be your best friend. I highly recommend finding a tailor if you haven't done so already. I did a video about that. I will link it here for you. But I remember when I went to the tailor for the first time, my mom took me because I had a special event and I needed something tailored for it and it completely changed my life. And ever since then, I have budgeted for tailoring because I've seen such a huge improvement in my personal style. And I always gravitate towards the things in my wardrobe that have been tailored far more than the things that haven't been. So 
I highly, highly recommend it. Next, I think dressing your age means that you know the styles that you like to wear and you're not hesitant about filling your closet with just those styles. So this is something that I've noticed for myself in particular, because as I've gotten more accustomed to what I like to wear, I've experimented and trialed and errored things, the more I understand the pieces that really go worn in my closet, things that I reach for over and over and over again. So I just go to those. I no longer feel the desire to experiment and try a lot of different things, unless of course I want to change, then I will. But I know what I like, so I can just pick it and fill my closet with those in different colors, maybe slightly different materials. And I know that I'll always have something that I love. So similarly, I also think that dressing your age means understanding that so that you can invest more into those pieces. If it's something you know you love to wear, something that you consistently wear at least a couple times a week, depending on the season, then you know that by spending more on quality, the construction and the material, you'll have a piece that you can enjoy for many years, which I think is such a nice part of understanding your style and certainly getting older in general. Much like knowing the styles that you love to wear, I think dressing your age also means knowing the colors that you like to wear. So I talk about color palettes all the time. I think I mentioned it in like every other video on this channel, but that's because it's been one of the biggest revelations in my own personal style journey. Once I figured out my color palette and slowly build it, built it, I really had a foundation that's been invaluable to me. All of my clothes mix and match. I feel really good in all of the colors that I've chosen and it's just been totally revolutionary. So I think that understanding your style can't happen without understanding your color palette and finding a color palette. So definitely, definitely spend time doing that. There are ways to experiment with color that don't break the bank. You can go to a craft store. It's what I did. I went to the fabric section and I just draped different fabrics on myself and took pictures. And then I went home and compared those and kind of saw what looked good, what didn't look good, what I liked, what I didn't like. And then from there started experimenting with clothes. So I started at the thrift store like I typically do. So I didn't have to spend a lot of money. And if I wanted to try a new color, I would thrift it or buy it secondhand or vintage and slowly add that into my closet until I became really comfortable with a core set of colors. And then from there, I built my color palette. And ever since then, I've stuck to that. I very rarely go outside of it. And if I do, it's because I've done all of those steps to come up with a new color. And it's always worked for me. And last but not least, I think dressing your age means dressing exactly how you want, which should not come as a surprise because that is essentially what all of my tips have been about. But I think that with age or with time comes confidence and hopefully an assurance about who you are. And you should be proud to share that with the world. And you shouldn't let anyone tell you that because you're a certain age, you can no longer do or wear things that you love. So I hope that from this video, I empowered you a little bit to really lean into that and not feel restricted just because you are a certain age or not a certain age. And I think that I try to remind myself every day that age is a gift and the older we get, the luckier we are to see another year. So I think that as long as you keep that in mind, everything else kind of falls in place and you can show that joy to the world through your clothes. And then of course, everything else that you choose to do in life. So I hope that you liked this. I hope that it was helpful. I would love to know in the comments down below what your favorite thing about your current age is. What's something that you've only been able to experience right now at whatever age you are? It doesn't matter. That could be 15 all the way to 105. Definitely let me know. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.